Hey everybody, what's up? Old School NYC Gamer back once again here with another video. This is going to be an update and a situation on the Sony Bloggy, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about that in a second. You're wondering why you see all this stuff over here in front of you? Well, I'll get to that in a second. Let's get to this right here. Now, if all of you have seen on Facebook and Twitter my situation, I'll get to that also in a second. Now, the original video that I posted, I took down about two weeks ago. The Sony Bloggy itself wasn't working. Now, um, you know, I was turning it on, nothing. I got the, uh, what was known as the black screen of death. And taking it home and charging it, I was uh, actually getting right here, you can see it right there, The uh, this is the light, you know, the power on light or the charging light. It was blinking. When you charge it, it usually gives just a straight orange light. Now, I was thinking, okay, there might just be a problem with the battery. Now, when I called Sony, uh, they were basically telling me in a nutshell, I you know, basically troubleshot the problem myself and let them know what was going on. I wanted to see maybe they could send me a replacement battery, which you know I would think at the worst for Sony would be about 40 or $50 because it's Sony. They had the nerve to tell me, uh, just on the labor itself, that this would cost $107 just for the labor, and I wasn't having that. Okay, so, of course, uh, I did some fedangling on the Sony itself. I had to take off the cover here, which you can see, you know, and definitely wasn't easy. I thought I was going to break this, because I do got to admit, Sony does make products that last, and they're kind of a pain in the butt to fix, you know, especially if you're not electronically inclined. So I had to take two pieces off alone just to get to the battery. Okay, and this is what the inside of the Sony Bloggy looks like. I've looked all over the internet, and I have not seen nothing, and I mean nothing, on the Sony battery, or the Sony Bloggy battery replacement. Nothing at all. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. Alright, so I'm just going to hopefully focus in on this, so you can see what it looks like itself. Okay? So, you know, for a small, you know battery or a small uh, camera this is very integral for an HD camera you know I'm a little fascinated by it so <laughs> go figure and yeah so $107 I wasn't gonna have that okay um, when it comes to the Sony blog itself like I said this took quite a bit to get into I got a, a little t uh, screwdriver kit here from Amazon and uh, with this specific precision screwdriver if it'll focus for me, see, you could kind of see right there. Well, you get the idea. Uh, this takes 14 screws. This device alone takes 14 screws. That's why you see them all here, and these are not bugs, by the way. Anyway, getting to the battery itself here. Now, this is where it got all, you know, kind of a bit of a pain in the butt. As you can see right there, this is a Sony model number SP70 battery. Now, thanks to, you know, a lot of feedback that I got here on... Uh, on YouTube and also on Facebook I actually have one person to take uh, particular I'm gonna shout him out in a second uh, you know I tried everything I even looked on the internet I could honestly not find the replacement for this and I mean it really was a pain in the butt to look for this I mean I was honestly about to give up hope on it now uh, getting back to the screwdriver set this is how I had to like basically look for it because the way it was set in it was really in there um, the battery itself, you can see, well, I'll show you where the problem, where it lies. You can see there's this little hang tab here. I honestly did not want to break this off, because if I broke this off, it would be a pain in the butt to even keep this thing anchored. But after a while of fedangling it with the uh, flathead precision screwdriver, I finally, uh, you know, got it out and, uh, you know, was looking for the battery. And thanks to one YouTuber here, and that is Trouble8385, he directed me to the exact link for this battery. Now, I was a little skeptical at first because, you know, I was looking and looking, and some of the batteries didn't match up. Because you have to look for the specific conductors on this side of the battery right here. And like I said, thanks to Trouble8385, he directed me to the direct link on Amazon for this battery. So, I'll show you that in a second here. And... Voila! This is it right here. This is, it says, uh, for MPBK1, even though this is the SP70 battery for the bloggy, 
you know, I saw this and honestly, like I said, it was, uh, I believe on Amazon with the shipping, it was uh, $9.37 or $0.67. Cents. So I took a gamble on it. At the worst, it would only be, you know, whatever, and I could, you know, return it and get my money back. So we're going to see if this is it. They line up perfectly. So this is what threw me off, people, when I saw it in the picture. This one extra uh, conductive area for the battery. So we're going to test this. Hopefully it'll work. So let's check it out, people. Just got to line this up. So you can see right here with the conductive parts. Okay, there it, is. it actually fits pretty snug. It didn't really have a lot of problems. Hopefully, you know, it's in there. And uh, let's check it out, people. Let's see if it'll work. Let's turn it on. Yep, there you go. That's it, people. And, of course, uh, when you put in the battery, you get the startup screen right here. So, yeah, it's not a bad fix, people. Um, if anything, I'll actually uh, direct, I'll put the link. If anybody here has that same problem with their Sony Bloggy, uh, you know, with the battery being messed up, you know, for $9.67, uh, if you are, you know, uh, electronically inclined enough that you could take out the 14 screws with a precision uh, Phillips head screwdriver and a precision flathead right here just to get the battery out. You yourself can do this. It's not honestly, you know, that bad. Unless if you want to have a friend do this, I would recommend that and not do it yourself. But yeah, people, that's about it. Uh, I definitely want to thank uh, Trouble8385 for sending me the link for this. And he did basically save me, oh, I don't know, about $140 just to fix this. I mean, that's pretty awesome. And I really do sincerely appreciate him doing this for me. So I'm just going to let the end of this go. Hopefully it'll show that it does work. And yeah. Yep, this does work, people. I'll just uh, go through all this just to show you that it works. And there you go, people. As you can see, there's a screen for it. And, you know, i uh, going to turn this puppy off. Put it back together and uh, you'll start seeing all these videos back again in HD quality. And like I said, that's about it, people. Have a great day. Thank you, Trouble8385. I will leave his link down there, people. And maybe a little annotation over there and the link for the Amazon battery down there, too. And that's about it. Have a great day, everybody, and take care. Cheers.